All right, welcome everyone. This is Lennox Bennett channel. Hit that like button right away, guys. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. Videos, videos, videos from all subjects, biochemistry, physics, integrated science, PE, geography, social studies. Come on, guys, maths. Oh my God. All right, so let's go. Um, first one says, this is a POV paper. I'm not gonna say the year. Um, just one is what one because then repeat every year, all right? So the trade, the trade refers to, the term trade refers to, is it A, selling of goods and services in the stock market, B, movement of immigration from one country to another, or is any commercial activity involved in the exchange of goods and services, all right? So that is C, which, Let's go down. Which of the following types of business environment is most typical of the Commonwealth Caribbean? Is it corporate state, mixed economy, central plan, or is it perfectly competitive? And that is B, the mixed economy. I think um I think central plan would be like Cuba, but majority of Caribbean countries it's mixed, right? Remember, Caribbean I really have certain identity, yet, you know. So we kind of like, you know, hanging in there in, in and out. All right, so let's move on to three. A person who has the ability to seek out and undertake the risk of a new business opportunity is referred to as it. Is it A, a producer, an inventor, a shareholder, or is it B, an entrepreneur? And that would be D, a N, an entrepreneur. Let's move on to number four. In a public limited company, losses are borne by the, is it the star, the directors, the community, or is it the, the shareholders? And that is also the, the shareholders, right? So remember, they not incur any loss. So let's move on to number five. In which of the following types of economic system does the government make all decisions? Is it the mix, the capitalist, the command, and is it subs subsistence? Subsistence, and that would be C, another one about it, pre Russia, you know, and that would be command, right? Notice the word command. I command you, citizens. I command, I demand. All right, let's move on to number six. If you're not, if you're just a giant, hit the like button for me now, please. Hit the like button. What's happening from hit the like button, guys? Come on. Which of the following is not an activity in, in a in planning the process. Which of the following is not an activity in the planning process? Is it A, setting goals, B, establishing policies, C, identifying resources, or is it D, delegating responsibility? And that is D, establishing policies. Let's move on to number seven. Item seven refers to the following information. Mr. Lloyd, Manager of LMLTD Limited holds regular staff meeting to listen to ideas from employees before making decisions that would affect the future of the company. And it goes on and say, what leadership style does Mr. Lloyd employ? Is it autocratic, democratic, charismatic, or is it laser fear? And that would be democratic. And that's how all countries should be ideal. You know what I mean? And our leadership. You alone can do it. Don't care what nobody say. Don't care your skill, you alone can do it. I take opinions from uh, my subscribers also. You know what I mean? All right, number eight, selecting the objectives and the procedures for achieving goal is referred to as is it A, planning, organizing, controlling, or is it motivating? And that is indeed planning. Number nine, in which of the following which of the following demonstrate the characteristics of a good leader? One, inspiring workers, that is that is legit. You have to inspire your, 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 your workers. Delegating responsibility, yes, that is it. One person can do it. You do this to me, you do that to me. So you delegate responsibilities. You alone can't take on everything. All right? Not like the Prime Minister, I mean. <laughs> a joke. <laughs> a joke. Nah, this thing, but man, um, I, I, I do education. I have education minister making intelligent decisions, and that is so. I'm gonna go with all three for that one. All right. So let me describe myself a while ago. 
All right, let's move on to number 10. I'll go on here, Under which of the following categories would subsidize means of employees for, is it A, fringe benefit, B, duty allowance, C, wages and salary, or is it D, workers' compensation? And guys, hit the like button if you're just joining. Mr. Bennett, appreciate you all. And number 10 is fringe benefit, right? Number 11, which of the following activities carried out in a firm will not be under, notice the word, will not, will not be under the supervision of the marketing manager, right? So is it the packaging, the purchasing, the advertising, and the distrib or the distributing? And that would be B. Remember your marketing, right? You want to purchase um the stuff for sale. You know, you know, you know, purchase the raw materials and stuff. All right. So that so if you want to do marketing, that's not one of your things. We like packaging, advertising, and distributing. All right. Anybody want to market me? Link me. All right. It's a very good product. It's a benefit is a very, very good product on JD you now, man. All right, number 11 says, an entrepreneur who wants to maintain control of the business would be advised to register the business as a, is it a partnership, a sole trader, a limited company, or a private limited company? Now, this is who wants to maintain control. So if you want to get control, no partnership, all right? So that would be a sole trader. Let's move on to number 13. Which of the following is a regulatory issue for the entrepreneur? A, using a credit card to transact business. B, offering higher purchase options to customers. Or is it C, paying national insurance to the government? Or is it D, advertising the business locally and regionally? And that would be C, paying national insurance to the government. All right, and that would be. All right, so let Move on to number 14. So far, so good. Hit that like button, guys. All right. The rate the effort. Hit the like button. The most important use of collateral security to the leader is that it is that it A is it established financial position of the borrower. B can be seized if the borrower fails to pay. C improves the borrower's chance of getting a loan. Or is it D gives the leader an idea of the state of the business, and that would be B. It can be seized if the borrower fails to pay. Right? Remember them? Are you all in out your money? You know? Anything you seize them because Jamaicans don't like pay what they don't. Yeah. Now go around the thing and we have to talk it straight so you can understand. Let's move on to number 15. Which of the following is not an example of an ethical business practice? Is it money laundering, non-payment of taxes, misleading advertisement, or retrenching efficient workers, inefficient workers? And that would be D, retrenching inefficient workers. All right, so let's move on to number 16. A post safety check is one which, is it A, was written no longer than six months ago, B, is dated to agree with the date of the document requesting payment, C, is dated for payment at a future date, or C, is dated by the bank on the day the check is presented for payment. And that would be C, is dated payment for a future date, all right? So you can write it today and you want to say, all right? Collect in 2000. <laughs> All right, let's move on to number 17. Which of the following reasons can be used for voiding a contract? One, there is no consideration. B, there is no meeting of minds. Three, the agreement was not in writing. Remember, guys, just be careful as I see this. Contract does not necessarily have to be written, you know, it can have oral contract, right? Verbal contract, they call it. We use your mouth and say, all right, now go do this. And you say, yeah, if you do this, you do that. So that's an agreement, all right? So it 
do you can do step code three and it will be one and two. So that's a trick. That was a tricky one by um six six that year. It was a tricky one. Let's move on to number eighteen. A contract may be discharged by is it a breach, change of mind, inconsideration, or misappropriation? And that is a breach. Once a breach, a contract. Trouble did it. All right. So let's move on to number nineteen. Fred and his friends went to the cinema on his way out. Fred fell and was injured. What type of insurance would protect the owner of the cinema against claims made by Fred? Is it A, industrial insurance, B, public liability insurance, or is it C, fidelity guaranteed policy, or is it D, employer's liability insurance? And that would be public liability insurance so number 19 is all right so let's go to the next page let's go to the next page number 20 we are we are we are, we are really moving fast guys which are the following types of checks allow an individual to receive cash on demand and is it the open cross certified or is it bankers and that would be an open check so number 20 is jump roll a Let's move on to 21. So which of the following industries does a firm involved in food processing belong? Food processing, right? Is it service, extractive, constructive, or is it E, manufacturing? Now, as I said, food processing, so that would be D, manufacturing. All right, so let's move on to 22. Everything at Josie. By the name of the as Joseph, Joseph. Joseph has decided to leave his homeland of Jamaica to go to the USA in search of a better life. This movement is referred to as is it brain drain, early migration, internal migration, or external migration? So, guys, this can be a little bit tricky. First thing come to mind is brain drain. However, they did not stay different bright or in down sour. So Kia assumes he's a brilliant man, right? So I'm gonna ignore brain tree for this one and i'm gonna go with external migration do let me know your opinion um in the comment section but i'm definitely thinking external migration is the best option here all right because they did not say it was a skill or a professional worker so we cannot assume that it's brain drain we cannot assume that he or she was all right 23 refers to the following information Mr. Joe received a job offer from a company in Barbados. In order to take up the new job, Mr. Joe decided to leave his own country of Trinidad and move permanently to Barbados. All right, in Trinidad, Mr. Jones is referred to as, is it a refugee, an immigrant, an immigrant, or is it a traveling officer? Oh, he might leave Trinidad. Right, so he's leaving Trinidad. So what I use to, to, to remember, guys, um, this is how I did it in in, in my song. Immigrant in your exit. So yeah, exit Trinidad. This is how I I remembered it when I I was doing my um POB exam, and Imi in your enter. That's how I kind of remember it. All right. So to Trinidad, he's an immigrant. He's my exit Trinidad. But in Barbados, he will be an immigrant as he's coming in. All right. So let's move on to 24. And I will have a kill that all of the mind. Let's see. You need to go through them pay for your good, you know, man. All right. One feature of a capital in intensive firm is that they, A, is it raise large amounts of capital? B, provide capital for other firms? C, use more machinery and less people? Or is it D, use people and less machinery, All right? So what did you guys say? That would be C, use machinery and less people. Guys, I'm telling you, get, um, get educated, get employed, and start your own business if possible. You cannot depend on these people. After a while, every job becomes redundant. All right, I'm begging you guys. Do this for your parents, not Mr. Benny. 25, which of the following conditions would constitute linkage between two industries? A, two firms manufacture similar goods. 
B, one firm shares the use of machine unit with another firm, or is it C, two firms are responsible for the manufacture of different kinds of goods, two, the output of one industry of the economy becomes the input of another industry, and 25 would be B. All right, so let's move on to 26, which of the following result is least likely to occur from the growth in organization, greater productivity, more division of labor, increased communication, or is it increased capital investment? And 26 is C, increased communication. Chatting no going away, guys, all right? Only in a relation. Anyway, let me get, not get myself in trouble. Which of the following commodities is a product of the manufacturing industry? Is it cars, gold, lumber, house? And that is the manufacturing industry. So that would be cars. China manufactured the most cars or something like that. All right, let's move on to 28. Oh no, where are you going? Where are you going there? I'll come back right here. The term loss leader is described as a product which has no real market value. B, the retailer is unable to, re to locate. C, is sold cheaply to attract customers. Or is it C, the retailer gives away, gives away to customers. And 28 is C, is sold cheaply to attract customers. Not Mr. Bennett. All right, I don't believe in that. That don't believe that now carry a gun away to bring down the business, all right? Number 929, so far I'm rich, guys, 29. Whoa. Under which of the following conditions is a trade discount used? Is it bulk purchases, prompt payment, payment by cash, or first time buyer? And that is bulk purchases. All right? Which of the following is not a term of sale? Is it cash, credit, shares, or higher purchase? And that would be higher purchase. When we see money. No, that would be shares. So let me worry about this, guys. Yeah, so that would be shares. All right, let's move on to 31. I think we should go up here. Uh -oh. All right. Which of, which of the following factors is least likely to influence customer behavior? Is it product price, brand loyalty, quality of goods, or place of ready, re residence? I'm definitely going to go with D because people buy from anywhere in the world. Look at Amazon, right? Doesn't matter where you are in the world, and we can sh um, so that's at least price and product are them something they matter. A situation where a business gain editorial space without having to pay for it is called is it publicity, marketing, advertising, or is it discounting? And that is a publicity. All right, guys, remember hit the like button if you're just joining. Mr. Bennett is happy to have you all here. All right, just hit that like button right away, also, guys. So I keep me going, believe it or not. We could like some of that now run down. All right, 33. The price of an article is usually high when there is a large quantity of sale and few people wanting to buy. Small quantity of sale and few people wanting to buy. No. Large quantity of sale and many people wanting to buy. No, sir. Small quantity for sale and many people wanting to buy. So 33 is D. Just imagine something scarce. We can't, we, we, now that there is, we can't get selfish. But that gets expensive. If something accessible, it become cheaper, right? That's why I say, I'm not Mr. Easy. All right, 34, in the Caribbean territory, there's only one supplier that provides electricity to all the homes, businesses, and the communities. Then, 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 
we need another electrical company. All right, and a bad man, Grace. Um, about Grace, JPS. All right, 35, which are the following term is associated with the stock market, cost and prices, risk and benefit, rent and investment, or is it premium and reward? And the stock market is very risky. But if you benefit, the benefits are great. All right, so let's move on to 36. Tom invests his savings by buying shares in a company. From the investment, Tom expects to receive profits, interest, revenue, or is it dividends? And 36 is definitely dividends. Shareholder receives dividends, ain't it? All right, let's move on to 37. Mr. Jones has several bills of fixed amounts to pay each month. His bank agreed to pay them monthly from Mr. Jones' account. This service, this service provided by the bank is referred to as this is an overdraft and a fixed deposit, you know, so a standing order, definitely a standing order. All right, I'm not gonna even go any further. Once a fixed amount and you pay it a certain time, that is standing order. Let's move on to 38. One of the major functions of a central bank is to A, issue notes and coin, issue stocks and share, accept deposit accounts, make loans and advances. And that is definitely issue notes and coin. Think about the central bank. Then in the bank around. And soon coming with some for full, full new money. That's the central bank there for you. All right. So that is one I think we can remember. Item 39 to 40 refer to the following diagram which represent the markets for pairs. The original document curve is D. All right, let's see what they ask us. So we have the price and we have the quantity of pairs. All right, per thousand. All right, it says point Z, point Z on the diagram represents, is it price, which is this point right here? Is it price? demand equilibrium point or equilibrium quantity. And that would be equilibrium point. So this right here is the equilibrium point, all right? And that would be C. All right, so let's move on to number 40. It did say both items refer to this. So let's see if we have to go back up. The equilibrium price is, is it the zero dollar? Is it 350? Is it four dollars or is it seven dollars? Let's go up and see which of it is it. Let's go back up. One, two, four, seven, one, two, three, four. All right, so that is four. So it's right here. Come across, we read it up. So it's four. So that would be four. Let's move on to 41. So 40 would be C. 41, let's see if I can find 41 quickly. Which of, which of the following measure may be used by government to protect consumers? One, price controls. B, custom duties, or is it three? Provision of subsidies. All right, so I'm gonna go with one price control, custom duties. No, that not really affect um consumer. No. But all when they have custom duty, all them do the, the, the producer or the, the company pass it on. So I'm gonna go with one and three. So that leaves us with B. All right, so let's move on to. 42. Thank you guys so much for reaching thus far. Hit the like button if you have reached so far. All right, guys. Hit the like button. 42 comments can influence business activity positively by reducing tax, grant spending, or subsidies. And 42 is reducing. Definitely the tax, you know. Government can influence business activity positively by reducing, oh, spending. Yeah, but they can reduce tax too.
you know, but if them spend less, um, especially with the export so import so that's a positive so what if they reduce tax yeah man a tax may go yeah if they reduce tax better for everybody but no they're gonna up the tax more which are the following is not regarded as a rule of taxation a to raise revenue for government b to influence the distribution of income, incomes and wealth. C, to influence investment decisions of publicly owned enterprises. D, to influence total expenditure on goods and services. And that is the C, to influence investment. Right? So, one had me a little. All right, let's move on to 44. Which of the following actions? by the government is most likely to lead to an improvement in the standard of living. Printing more money? No. Increasing the income tax rate? No, we don't need that. Abolishing taxes on low income. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, man. You can give tax incentive to businesses. All I'm going to do, I keep it for themselves and save all the poor people. So you know, that's what directly. Abolishing taxes on low income. But now I make the bag of money? No taxes. But guess what? The government logics and all government logic is the poorer the people, tax them more. The richer the person, tax them less and be them friends. And let's get a caviar and eat the food together. All right, we're almost at the end, guys. 45. We try to follow in statements accurately describe taxation as a means of redistribution, redistributing incomes. Is it A, the rich pay taxes and the poor do not? B, Tax is used to distribute income more efficiently throughout the country. C, tax is, is used to spend, spread income evenly between the higher and lower income or the, D, the higher income earners are taxed at the higher rate to provide benefits to lower income earners. And I'm going with that definitely make a lot of sense to me, right? So you tax the higher earners, um, to provide benefits to the lower income earners. But as I say, the government is going to do it the other way. We're going to tax the poor people to give to the rich. And that is why we have a lack of productivity and growth. Trust me. All right, let's move on to 46. Which are the following best explain a proportional tax? A, the rate of tax increase as income increases. B, the same rate of tax is paid at all income levels. C, higher income earners pay a smaller percentage of income tax than lower income earners. Or is it D, lower income earners pay a larger percentage of income tax than higher income earners. So that would be the same rate of tax is paid at all income levels. So it's proportional. Right across the board, all right? So much important. 47 refer to the following information, which shows figures taken from a country's balance and payment account, all right? So, so goods, let's see, exports, 160 mil, services, 300 mil, and the imports, 120 mil, and services, 140 mil. The country balance of trade is, all right, so let me just do the comment. So this is the export, so we're going to add the export. So that's 160. So only eight months. But at the end of the day, months come knocking at your door, 0 plus 6, 0. All right, so let's, that is export. So let's do the import now. So that's 120 and 140. All right, so that's 0, 4 and 2, 6, and that's 2. So all we have to do is just subtract the import from the export, and that will give us our answer. Oh, this is 6, I'm huh? sorry. So 0. Zero and two from that would be two. So that would be D two hundred 
mail, 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 mail. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's move on to 48. In calculating net national product, depreciation refers to, you see, the increase level in the increase in the price level, decrease in the price level, increase in the capital stock value, or is it D, increase in the capital stock value? And that would be, remember, depreciation is the reduction in the price, so it increases the capital stock value. All right. Let's move on to 49. I think I have to go up now. Yeah, definitely up. 49. Which of the following practices would contribute to economic growth and development in of a country? A increased importation of consumer goods. That definitely can be it, you know. That can be a solution. Increased importation. That's 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 so stupid. Exportation better, all right. Decrease use of country's national resources. No, we want to increase the national resources. See, exporting skilled personnel to develop countries. No, that is the worst brain drain. So it has to be the providing provision of loans and technical assistance in establishing local businesses. All right. So let's move on to 50. Only 10 to go, guys. Hit that like button. You have reached us far. Just 10 to go. Export license are issued mainly to, is it encourage local businesses to produce more goods for export? B, enable the government to control the flow of goods being exported. C, indicate to the importing country that the goods are at a high standard. Or is it D, indicating the importing country the prices at which the goods are being sold? And that would be B, enable the government control Government is all about control, right? They want to control the people, they want to control the thing, they want to control everything. They need controlling, so they're out of control. A measure which limit the quantity of goods that citizens of a country are allowed to buy from overseas is known as a measure which limit the quantity of goods that citizens of a country are allowed to buy from overseas is known as is it the import duty, export duty, export quota, or import quota? All right. So 51 is the import quota. All right, let's move on to 52. Which of the following does not contribute to the improved standard of living, standard of living of our country? An increase in capital goods, an increase in disposable income, and Increase in the country's population. Oh, it does not. An increase in investment. I'm going to go with C. To increase the people, is that the resources are less? Trust me. Worse if the people them no, have no sense. All right, let's move on to 53. So we'll finish now. Which of the following is an example of tariff? Is it exercise? Excess duty, property taxes, custom tax, or is it value added tax? And the 53 is which of the following is an example of a tariff? Hold on, guys, I'm not sure about that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, guys, that one had me a while, but uh, I'm going to go with custom duties, right? Let me know your opinion on that one, 53. Visible trade examine the difference between a country's is it imports and export goods only, imports and exports of services only, current account and capital account, or is it the output method and expenditure method? And that is A, imports and exports of goods only. All right, we have made it to the end. Clap yourselves, clap this. 55, in term, the term economic dualism refers to an economy in which one sector is highly dependent on a local capital, or is it B, highly dependent on foreign capital, or is it C, overpopulated while the other is underpopulated, or is it technological advance while the other is technically Technologically retarded. 
and that would be technologically advanced while the other is i did this on the next paper you guys should watch that too, all right 56 which of the following is a benefit of the csme common trade policy reduced cost of housing reduced cost of air travel or is it more equitable distribution of income and that would be a, a common trade policy all right so we're almost at the end guys hit the like button if you have not joined the like button if you're just joining just watch what the video same time all right it's very very good purpose of caricom is to a allow member states to collaborate b foster interregional interregional trade and common services c encourage transfer of technology within the region or is it d allow for unrestricted movement of persons among the territory for the South All right, I'm gonna go with the faster interregional trade. All right, number 58. Which of the following organization would settle a dispute among banana produced the countries of the Caribbean and Central America under the differential agreement with the European Union? The World Trade Organization and the CWTO. All right, so we have made it to the end. Thank you guys so much for staying. In periods of inflation, the ability to raise additional capital for and for expansion is most likely to be a problem of A is so trader, B partnership, C public companies, or is it E multinational operation? And that would be a sole trader. If I own one brother, this is why businesses are so hard, and especially in Jamaica, where they tax men and them. Generally. Government tax you, gangster tax you. That makes no sense. That is very unproductive. 60, industri industrialization is an important strategy in the fight against poverty. Which of the following is a benefit of an increase in the development of industries? Is it A, reduction in the level of exports, B, a reduction in the level of imports, or is it C, an increase in the level of migration, or is it D, let me just go, an increase in the rate of an employment and that is B, an induction in the level of imports so we need more export not more import guys do remember to check out my other videos there are pob other videos on pob it maths physics chemistry biology all right just check them out just check them out all right so this is Mr. Benny Tamao, no doubt. See you guys in another video.